Hey guys, Bacon Medic here. I realize we're in the middle of the coronavirus and normally I would want to be doing some food videos, but it's kind of hard to do a lot of food videos when you can't get a lot of food. So I've been noticing on Facebook, a lot of people, uh, healthcare providers especially, and probably me, uh, I've been saying don't, don't wear gloves when you're out and about. And I want to show you why, okay? A lot of people saying, okay, uh, I'm not going to wear gloves, I guess. I don't know why I want to protect myself. The problem with PPE is it's basically personal protective equipment. It's basically there because we need to, as healthcare professionals, prevent cross-contamination. So imagine, if you will, if you're at a, uh, an ER, a doctor's office, whatever, and you notice that a doctor or a nurse goes from one room to another wearing the same pair of gloves. You see gloves on, you see blood on the gloves. You go to the next room and, and oh my God, they're spreading this, right? And you can see the blood and you're disgusted. Well, that's exactly what us as healthcare providers are seeing when we go up to the grocery store and people are wearing gloves all over the place. People think they're protecting themselves and, and the reality is they're not, they're just spreading the disease. So I want to kind of give you a little bit of a demonstration on what's going on. The problem with uh, any virus is that you can't see it. It's microscopic. It's smaller than a cell. It's smaller than bacteria. You just can't see it without an actual microscope, but we are a really powerful microscope. We know that it's there though, okay? If it was blood, it would be a no-brainer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the virus with this green food coloring. And I'm going to put some on my, my bare hands, all right? So we're going to pretend for a moment, all right? This is coronavirus, okay? Kind of gross, I know. Now, obviously I can wash my hands, but take a quick look at this, all right? I'm just a average person who walks along and I pick this up. Look, I've got my armor treat here, you see? Put it down and I walk away. Now, I'm the second person I walk into the grocery store and I go, I wanna protect myself. For starters, clearly I need to wash my hands before I use gloves. And anytime you see a healthcare provider um, using gloves appropriately, we're going to wash our hands. But if I don't, no big deal, right? I still have nice clean gloves on the outside as I put these guys on. They're a little small for me, uh, and I apologize for that, but I personally am a large. Look at that, okay? I've already contaminated the outside of my gloves as I put these guys on. All right, but let's say I have washed my hands and I haven't contaminated my gloves. And oh goodness, these are really tiny. I should have gotten bigger ones, but that's all right. You get the point. All right, here's the point. Now, I go, I pick up this one. This, I'm the second person there. Look at this, okay? Now, you might feel, think this is great. I've got, um, my hands are protected, right? Well, we know it's not. So now I walk over here and I pick up another item at the grocery store. All right, take a look. I've got virus all over it. I can do one of two things. Of course, I can put it in my cart and take it home to my family, or I can just put it back on the shelf. All right? You see the problem with what we call cross-contamination when we're not changing our gloves in between everything we touch, which if you're going to use it right, guys, you got to bring a whole box of gloves to the grocery store and change every single thing you touch. Here's the best part. I have my cell phone here. Clearly not a cell phone, right? Because I don't want to destroy my own cell phone. I start texting my family. All right? Yep. Yep, I'll go ahead, I will get the bread. I forgot about that, now look at my cell phone. Now watch this. I make a phone call. Hey, how you doing, you know? Look at this. I don't know if you can see if there's any green up there. And where the virus goes, into my nose, into my mouth, boom, I'm, inf I'm infected, all right? That is why inappropriate use of PPE um, is bad for everybody, all right? So if you're gonna use the gloves, fine, bring a whole box. And every time you touch something, assume you've been contaminated, and change it. Now I'm wearing this green shirt, uh, this white shirt here, because I don't want to ruin it. But look, look at this. Virus on me. I go home, I hug my children. Okay? You see where the problem is. We're not using it appropriately. If you don't want to use it, by the way, I want to show you how to get this off. All right? Watch this. We're assuming the inside, and we know this isn't the case right now, but the inside is clean, the outside isn't. I take the dirty outside. I do like so. Now this, this in theory should be clean if I wash my hands before, but we know it's not. Watch this, I'm gonna slide my fingers under this, okay, and this is supposed to be clean, and then I just take them off like this. That's how we appropriately take off gloves. So take a look at that. Now, in, if we wash our hands before, we're good. Now, one last thing, let's come over here to the sink. All right, watch what I'm doing with my, my hands here. Look right there, if you can see it right there, I have virus right there. Quick, quick wash. Boom, I'm done. Is that good enough? No, it's still there. 
We're looking for 20 to 30 seconds at least of hot water and soap. And oh, look what I just did. I just now done that. And now I gotta sit here and wash. And of course, you know, realistically, the green food coloring to keep my hands green for quite a while. But 20 to 30 seconds at least. Get every part of your hands clean. Rinse, 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 rinse. I'm gonna have to do one heck of a job to get all the green food coloring up. But I think you guys get the point here, okay? Finally, let's pretend that this is all off, okay? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab a clean towel. Everything's clean. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to shut my faucet off with the clean towel. Because that way, what I just contaminated with, I don't recontaminate my hands. Now, the last thing you have to do, grab that Formula 409, your Lysol, your bleach, which works really great, Spray on your fixtures so that when your kid comes and goes to wash their hands, they're not getting what you just brought them from Market Basket. Okay, guys? Anyway, Bacon Medic, like my page. Please share this. This is important. Uh, like my Bacon Medic page if you want to talk about food and travel and all that stuff, okay? Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time, and stay well.